Hi everyone, I am Snilan Walam, Department of Physics, Assam Nambu School, University Gohati. Today I am going to share with you all one topic that is reflection of light, which is one of the topics that I have taken from class 12. So first of all, I know that each and everyone know what light is, right? From class 8, we have already learned that light travels, travels in a straight line. So here let me tell you the definitions of light. What is light? Light is an electromagnetic wave or electromagnetic spectrum. It has a wavelength of above 400 nanometer to 750 nanometer. Like I have said before that light travels in a straight line, it also travels with enormous speed. So the speed of light is finite and measurable. So what is the speed of light in air or vacuum, water, glass? So the speed of light in air is 3 into 10 to power 8 meter per second. And the speed of light in water. Water is much denser compared to air. So the speed of light also should be less compared to the speed of light in air. That is 2.2 into 10 to power 8 meter per second. And here, the, and this one, the speed of light in glass. So glass is much, much denser compared to water compared to air so the speed of light in glass is 2 2 into 10 to pi 8 meter per second so here the speed of light in air is the highest speed that attainable in nature so it is mainly uh, true light and the sense of vision that we know and interpret the world around us so for example without light can we see can we see anything no we cannot see anything right so now let's go to the main topic that is reflection of light reflection of light so here what do you mean by reflection for example if you have a ball in your hand and you throw that ball on the wall, what will happen? The ball, it will bounce back to you, right? So that is the meaning of reflection. So here, if we have a, this, if we have a plain mirror, that is, this is a mirror, um, then when a ray of light coming from the sun or any source of light approaches approaches this smooth polished surface or mirror and then this ray of light then this ray it will reflect it back so this is called reflection of light and this is normal it means when a ray of light approaching this mirror and this ray reflected back that is called reflection of light and this is the angle of incident this is the angle of reflection. So this is the incident ray. This is the reflected ray. So from this diagram, we do have two laws of reflection. That is number one. See from this diagram. The angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection. Angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection. So here, suppose the angle of incident is 4 to 5 degree. Then the angle of reflection also it should be 45 degree. So what is the angle of incident? The angle of incident is the angle between the incident ray and the normal to the reflecting surface or mirror. 
And the angle of reflection is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal to the reflecting surface or mirror. And number two, again from this figure, we see that the incident ray, the reflected ray, the normal, at this point of incidence, they all lie on the same plane. Incident ray, reflected ray, and the normal, they all lie on the same plane. So now I have come to an end. So I do hope that this video will help you all a lot. Thank you.